everyone. Yay, it's Katie. How are you guys? It's Tuesday in Minnesota. I guess it's Tuesday in most parts of the world. Sometimes if you are in another, if you are like in Australia, it might be Tuesday night. No, maybe tomorrow. I never know. Some places are almost like 12 hours more ahead of me. So if it's Wednesday, hello. Hi, how are you guys? Um, okay, so today is going to be the brand new season of um, the show in which shall not be named. But um, we have uh, a lot to talk about because um, the MTV heads and execs have been pushing out this brand new season of Teen Mom OG starting. And um, lots of stuff in the press um, with Amber Portwood talking about her relationships with um, Ryan or with, uh, you know, her son James and, you know, life and how blah, blah, blah. Um, but there's also other people on this show that actually have storylines. Shocking, right? Um, Cheyenne, Mackenzie. Um, then you've got Mackenzie. There's two Mackenzies, okay? Mackenzie McKee and Mackenzie Edwards. And Ryan is one of the, and you guys all like say, why do you say it like that? I'm just saying how Macy says it. She says Ryan. Um, Ryan Edwards and his wife Mackenzie recently welcomed a baby in January named Stella Ray. And interestingly, I was like looking through some stuff and you know, it's been a wild couple years for Ryan. He has had a lot going on, a ton. Um, he's had two children within like the span of a year and a half. Um, his son Jagger was born in October, I believe, of 2018. And then they just had Stella Ray in January. Um, they also have, um, Mackenzie has a son, Hudson, from a previous relationship, and Ryan has Bentley with that he shares with uh, Macy. So there's four kids. Um, but it's a busy household, right? And then there's been this ever-present stuff going on with Ryan um, of being in and out of places where you go when you don't do things that are very good. Um, he's been battling um, issues related to substances. His relationship with Mackenzie has been a big question by Teen Mom fans because, you know, she got involved with him during a time when things were very, very dark and people wondered why they even got married. If you remember the episode, I think none of us, if you are in the Teen Mom world, can forget um, that during their wedding, he drove and didn't look very good. Um, they actually did a redo wedding. And even during that, which was captured on in film for MTV, things just seemed really off between these two. Um, people couldn't really understand why Mackenzie was really getting involved with him at such a place in his life where things were not very good for him. Um, but despite all of that, she has stuck by him through his different stints um, with going off for treatment or going off to the house where you go when you're not a good person or when you do bad things or you get in trouble. And beneath, outside of all of this, there's been this, my husband is great attitude by her and I'm going to stand by my man and my man is the best. And like a lot of people understanding like, why are you with this guy? Seriously? Do you just want to be on TV? And then you've got fans and hatters that talk about how she's kind of like a stage five clinger. She's like the black widow. She's like an opportunist that's doing this. Like, oh, she's going to have another baby. It's like, um, she's trying to secure more money because Gary said that if you have more kids, MTV gets more, you get more money. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. Um, but recently, so she shared, the last time she actually shared a photo of Ryan on Instagram was in January when she shared a photo of Stella. Um, after she had given birth. And she gave birth to Stella, I think, right after New Year's or on New Year's Day. It was right around that time. And since then, she has not posted a single photo of her or of him. Um, there's been some photos of the kids. She recently shared a photo of her daughter. And yesterday, she answered some questions on Instagram. But what I noticed right off the bat was some cagey responses of her absolutely ignoring questions about Ryan. And I'll show you what I mean by this, because this is not typical for Mackenzie. So on a question here, it says, what do you think the biggest misconception about you and also Ryan? And she said me, and then she never, um, 
me, that I'm a bad person. I'm not sometimes, that I'm a bad person. I'm not. Sometimes I get pushed over the edge of what I can bottle inside and I just freak out working on it or that I'm being a B when I laugh in serious situations. I laugh when I'm nervous, LOL. And then all the way down here, which you can barely see and it's like covered up, it says Ryan, that he's non-existent. He's not. So she has this big long thing about her and then this tiny little thing all the way down here that he's not existent he's not it just like it seems really odd like she's trying to hide that response and then again here um what do you love hate most about being filmed i like the cute moments with our kids i hate having to revisit awkward or difficult situations that i we have moved on from it's like opening an old wound well, Ryan's definitely had a lot of awkward or uncomfortable situations over the past few years. Um, or if you remember last season, he, he had recently got out, gotten out of that place where you go when you get in trouble. And he people are still wondering whether or not he's actually not using any substances. Even in some of the videos and some of the after stuff when he got out, he seemed to slur at times, making some people question that he wasn't actually in fact clean. And then even at the reunion, he was pretty cagey about what he was doing for his recovery. Dr. Drew was very adamant that he needed to get involved in some sort of recovery, otherwise he was going to relapse. So there was a lot of questions here about like, is he clean, is he not clean? And you know, the fact that she says that he's not existent, but he's not, okay. Um, and then asking her about, you know, if she, how she got so skinny and she eats whole foods and blah, blah, blah. And then she actually answered a question about a photo shoot with Macy that they did for Mimi. Cute. Um, and then it says, how is Ryan doing? I hope to see more positive moments from your family this season. LOL, yes girl, I hope so too. Good luck. But she doesn't actually answer any questions about how Ryan's doing. So again, another opportunity to talk about Ryan, which she loves to do. This girl loves to talk about Ryan when she's like, when things are going great. She is obsessed with this man. She is always talking about Ryan. And then she doesn't even answer this question. Guess girl, I hope so too, in response to like wanting to make sure that there's more positive stories going out. It just seems like, what? Why are you avoiding this question? And that makes me think one thing. There's something going on with Ryan that he's not doing well, or there's something going on with their marriage that they're not doing well. Because why wouldn't you ask to answer a basic question about how your husband is doing, especially with the show coming on? This is the woman that stood behind him when he was going in the rockiest of moments. Um, and what's your best advice? Keep on trucking, it's really hard, but extremely rewarding. I think every mama just needs a minute every once in a while, but every time I get a minute, I debate on what to do and then my minute is over. Um, and then she even answers questions about whether or not she's going to have any more kids. And she said she's had her tubes tied a month ago. It's a no for me, dog. Now this is interesting, you guys, because she's 24 years old, 24. Like that's so young. Now she has had three children, but that's a really young person that would go ahead and make that very permanent decision. So is she just like, I don't want any more kids? Is something, and it's just a month ago? Like it wasn't even when she had her baby, it was afterwards. Um, so how soon can you, how soon can you tie your tubes after giving birth? I mean, I was trying to get it done that day, but the timeline is tough. I'm sure each one has their own protocol. So I guess she wasn't able to do it at the same time as when she had the baby, apparently. Now. I don't know what the delivery actually looked like for her, so I can't answer it. But interestingly, so she nonchalantly like tells us about this, she's got her tubes tied, which again, like you're 24. I mean, I know some people might be done. It's just again, like some doctors won't do those types of um, procedures on people that are under a certain age because, you know, she still has a very long time where she could want to have kids again you know like she's only 24 um and maybe she wants five who knows things change maybe you get into another relationship when you're 30 and your husband wants kids you know that's why a lot of doctors won't do that to men or to women um but you know it's interesting because only a few weeks ago 
she was answering questions about him. And she said, forget the haters. You guys make such an adorable baby. You guys are, I hope you guys are doing great. And she said, ha ha, these haters aren't bad at all. Just wait until the show starts. Then it'll hit the fan. She's probably talking about the hatters here who definitely do not make life easier, easy for them. And then she said, so cute. This is Ryan is actually Ryan help. Ugh, is Ryan actually helping you take care of her and your other two boys? Or is it just his mother and father be helping to raise them? And she says, yeah, he's very attentive and a great dad. So three weeks ago, she was at answering questions saying, yeah, he's a great dad. And then she says, um, and then she also answered another question where she said she was very thankful for him three weeks ago. But this week, she can't even ask answer a basic question about like how he's doing. So I don't know. And someone in chat said, I think it's based on the number of kids you have. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I'm just saying like she's just relatively young at this point. So um, either way, um, I just thought it was interesting. Okay, so why isn't she answering basic questions about Ryan when she literally loves to talk about him? And why isn't she posting any photos of him? Like, why can't you just answer a basic question? Like, how is Ryan doing? How is he doing? And then the only thing she actually says about him is um, he, that he's non-existent, but he's not. Now, Ryan has had some Tinder accounts. Somebody in chat just pointed that out where he's um, been a little bit uh, not so faithful. He has a history with um, substances. So is he back to using? Is he not being faithful. I mean, I can't for the life of me think why this girl continues to stick around with this guy who has clearly never grown up, has never held a job, has never, you know, really taken care of himself. And he's 32 and his mom and dad kind of bail him out of everything and sort of enable him to not do anything with his life. Um, we have no idea what we will see for them because there was no storyline or teaser about them in any of the promotional material that MTV put out. So who knows how much of a role Mackenzie and, Ed, and, and Ryan's relationship will even factor into the season. Um, with him sort of on a better path, is Macy not gonna talk about Ryan anymore? Is she actually gonna be able to talk about other things going on in her life? The kid that, or Bentley is like 11 I think now, 11 or 12, these kids are like practically, the teen moms are now about to have teen children. Imagine that. Anyway, I want to know what your thoughts are. Given the fact that we know that she loves to talk about Ryan and herself, why isn't she answering questions about him? Why won't she answer how he's doing? And why is she being like that he's non-existent and he's not? Is this a split or is there something else going on like with his health? Or is it nothing? Tell me in the comments below. The new episode will air tonight. Um, I will be doing recaps for you since many of you do not want to watch related to Amber. So I will let you know if they show up on tonight's episode. Otherwise, um, I'll be back later with some more content on other reality TV. Bye, guys.